Welcome, this is Lucida, and I'm here to bring you a new reading today. This reading is for Twin Flames and those on the Divine Love Path. And what it's about is highlighting the effect of this full moon tonight on July 23rd, 2021. What this full moon energy is going to be doing, how it's going to be influencing the energy and the path of union for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and how it is going to impact the relationship between the Divine Masculine and the Karmic Partner or Karmic Situation. Before we get started on the reading, I just want to remind you that I have been doing tarot readings for the last 30 years or so professionally. Um, the last few years have been more full-time because I did meet my twin flame, we started this channel, and the rest is history. So if you'd like to join the channel, um, if you like readings like this, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified of all uploads. Now let's get started on the reading. If you look in the center, we have the Divine Masculine's current energy or present energy represented by that Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles represents the Divine Masculine being poised and in position to start some kind of new chapter in their life. So in regard to their um, love interests or their love relationships, they definitely want to start new. If you look in the left-hand column, labeled K, that's the karmic partner or situation and how the Divine Masculine has viewed them in the recent past. Up there with that Nine of Wands, so they were pretty wounded and guarded, so they weren't really having a healthy dynamic go on with the karmic partner situation. They may feel that there are some legal restraints or some things holding on to them with that Hierophant energy presently. So they may feel that the karmic partner or the karmic situation, so it could be a bad habit even, whatever it is that's holding them back from them being able to experience love fully with their twin flame, um, they feel kind of pressured by it because in the future what you're seeing there is the Ten of Wands so they're feeling very burdened by whatever they have experienced with the karmic partner situation. So with full moons we do get revelations and epiphanies and they are seeing how oppressive the situation really is being tied to that karmic partner or situation. On the other hand, the Divine Masculine's view of the Divine Feminine in the recent past may have been that they had to prove themselves with that Knight of Swords. Maybe they had some thoughts that were wanting to get out in the open. Maybe they felt frustrated. Maybe they wanted to fight for their beloved, their twin flame. Presently, they have the Wheel of Fortune and the energy. So this full moon in Aquarius is allowing the Divine Masculine to see what a treasure they have with the Divine Feminine counterpart, the Wheel of Fortune, turning in a positive direction for the Divine Feminine and Masculine coming together in their Twin Flame union is showing up in the future with that temperance energy. So we see the balancing of energies between the Divine Masculine and Feminine, which is the liquid that's passing between the two cups there that the angel is holding in the temperance card. So we do see a balancing of energies coming up in the future for Divine Masculine and Feminine. So if there was any doubt that the Divine Masculine wasn't going to come forward for their Divine Feminine, once their energies balance, they will. So if you are the Divine Feminine, try to take on more of the Divine Feminine receptive, nurturing energy. You don't have to do anything to get noticed by the Divine Masculine. They are the doers with more of the yin, I'm sorry, the yang energy, the active masculine energy, wanting to come in, wanting to win you over if you're the Divine Feminine, so allow for that. Be open and receptive at this time, and don't forget to release whatever is no longer serving you so you can do a full moon ritual for yourself. Um, light a candle, write down all the thoughts, feelings, and anything that you want to rid yourself of. 
and then burn that paper safely in the moonlight if possible, but when the moon is out if possible. However you burn that paper or, or change the form of that paper, those energies will also transform in your twin flame dynamic. So I hope this reading and suggestions have helped you today. I'm available again for your private situations. Just contact me anytime you see me online or for an email reading. Many blessings and I'll see you soon. Namaste.